how, how, how does the foot feel now? I mean, you feel like you're pretty close to 100% or, or how would you assess kind of where you're No, yeah, at? definitely pretty close to 100%. Not quite all the way there, but definitely really close. Are there things where you still feel you can kind of sense it when you plant or kind of where, where the issues come out? Yeah, it's just certain routes like rolling, rolling over onto my right foot, going in or going out, rolling over that right foot kind of bugs it, but not too much. It's getting better. What was the... Uh, you got quite the reception when you did get your one catch. What was mm -hmm. that kind of like, and kind of what was the momentum that you had after that? I guess um, it was it was definitely a great feeling to say the least. Getting that catch after all this time off, um, and so I think that really just juiced juiced myself up and kind of you know juiced the team up to see that I was back and just out there contributing again. When, when there are only like four or five healthy wide receivers at one point, I guess kind of what is your role there and kind of how did you try to, I guess, help the younger guys? Because you are one of the few seniors in this group. Yeah, just be, just be a mentor for the young guys. And you know, when the games were going on and things were hectic and we were doing really good, I, I tried to be the one who just came in and just calmed them down and say, don't let your emotions go too high or too low. You got to stay even keel throughout the whole game. Because during, during a game, you don't know what's going to happen and you can't get too high or too low. So I was just kind of that guy who tried to keep everybody at that even keel. How would you assess, I guess, the receivers play in the four games that, that you were out for? There's a lot of, I mean, there weren't that many players available. How would you kind of assess how they, they handled things? They, they handled it awesome. They All of them stepped up, Johnny, B.A., Josh Delgado, you know, Daywood even got in there. They, they all stepped up and did great. Did you feel like you were back fully once you got on the field with the team again, or did you feel like after that catch it was kind of off your shoulders and you were fully back from that injury? No, I feel like I was back before the game started, and just the just catch was kind of just like a weight off my shoulders, you know, type thing. And so it just kind of gave me more confidence when, once I got that catch. You were part of this team a couple years ago that had a tough loss to Colorado. How do you take that experience and use it this week to, to better yourself? Don't let off the gas pedal. I mean, in the, in the Colorado game, we were doing we were doing pretty well, and we let them kind of creep back into it. And so this week is just don't let off the gas pedal. You've always seemed like a player who's pretty like mentally strong, but just what did being out in, for that extent of time at this point in your career just how how was that mentally to deal with? You know, especially with the, kind of the anticipation and work you put in in the off season. Uh, it was it wasn't definitely fun to say the least. Um, but you know, it gave me a different perspective where I, where I had to sit down and watch guys, and I had to be that mentor for the young guys, and it kind of just pro pro like propelled me into like that leadership role more. The fact that I wasn't playing and I couldn't lead from example. I had to, you know, talk to the guys and tell them, "Hey, I'm seeing this when I'm when I'm on the sidelines. Maybe change up the way you're doing that." And so, just really leadership kind of was the biggest thing that I tried to take away from it. Is, is there anything specific uh, visually that you were able to pick up from that perspective that, you know, maybe not you went from playing in the games just. Um, it's just like when, when they were on the field and I was off the field, I was looking at the defense and seeing that what they were doing in our certain formations and I'd come off and have them talk to me and see what they were saying and then we'd talk to the coach and then go on from there. So that's pretty much what it was like. Your anticipation for playing this game this past week, how did that rival, you know, season debuts or anything else? Um, it was it probably is up there with my first start as a freshman, just coming back from an injury like this and looking forward to the senior season and then having it kind of be taken away for a little bit or put on hold. So, I mean, it was definitely probably the top five moments coming out. Did you think at all at any point about the possibility of redshirting? Because I'd heard through some people that that might have been a back burner thought process initially. Um, it didn't really come to mind, to be honest, because I knew right when it happened and I got the x-rays and it came back as a broken bone, I was like, all right, well, I'm going to be back. I'll be back sooner or later. So it didn't really come into my mind too much. How much of the Stanford trip because of travel squad limitations mm -hmm. and stuff, but I mean, Juwan didn't go, Micah didn't go, but you mentioned about being that leader and being there that yeah. coach felt it that important to have you there, even counting against the 70 or 75 number to have you as part of that. How important was that trip for you? Um, I think it was big, but not only big for me, but big for the team too, because like, like you said, I am that, that senior in the room. I am that leader for, the, for our wideouts and for our offense. And so it was a huge compliment to myself because I didn't really expect to go on that trip. And when, that, when I saw my name on the travel list, I was like, all right, well, I'm going to do everything I can to help this team. When like, back with the passing game in particular with you guys out, there was a lot of explosive plays of 20 plus. You just had one this past weekend. Mm -hmm. How much do you guys think that whether it's you or Jawan or Micah, that this offense is about to get a lot more explosive going forward. I mean, with everybody back, who knows what's going to happen? I mean, we could go crazy. We can get like 300 yards or 200, so I'm ready for anything. This is completely offbeat, but when you guys put Colorado in 2016 and you guys wore those like full head to toe duck uniforms, mm -hmm. what did you guys think when you were putting those ones on? <laughs> um, I didn't really know what to think. You know, I saw the orange cleats, so I'm like, okay, well, this is a first for me, and so it doesn't really matter what we're wearing. We just want to go out and perform. You've been here for so long, and you've seen so many different Oregon defensive units. What's impressed you the most about Andy Avalos? 
how he just gets the guys so ready and prepared for the game. I mean, they've only let up one touchdown in four games, and so it's just it's just awesome to see it. And they really kept us in this last game. They really helped us out in that first half, and you know, kept them out of the end zone. And just the way he prepares them, and the way they fly around, and how they tackle and swarm to the ball is really impressive. What do you notice about him in practice? Obviously, I know that you're on the other side of the ball, but is there anything that you've seen out of him? I mean, he's he's very vocal. He gets he gets he gets on the guys if they're not talking or communicating. So. You need that as a defensive coordinator to get on those guys for sure. What do you about remember about Montez from that game? Because that was that was back when you were still playing defense. What what was it like to kind of defend against him? Um, I know he could sling the ball. I mean, and he was doing it in that game, and he could run, and he's he's pretty big. So when you came to go hit him, you better better buckle up because he's probably two two hundred plus. So it's lot, pretty much all I can really remember. He, he, was, he was the backup coming into that mm, game yeah. too. Were, were you guys surprised at what he was able to uh, uh, accomplish in that one, or were you guys pretty well prepped for him coming into that one? Um, I think I think we were we were ready for anybody who, would, who came into the game, and because obviously he's a backup for the reason, and he's the first one to go in once something bad happens. So we were, I think we were ready for him.